So here is my recipe. Um, it doesn't. I didn't include exactly how to cook it um, because that would have taken up way more than one slide. Um, but I did include all the ingredients. Um, and on the the German shopping list um, columns, in those columns, I picked out all the agricultural products and listed how much they would cost in. Um, in the United States and in Europe. So in order to get the Europe or the German prices, um, I actually had my grandparents go to the grocery store in Germany for me um, to determine how much everything would cost. And then we had to um, convert between convert from euros to dollars and um, from, you know, um, other conversions as well. Um, like from grams to uh, pounds and things of that nature. Um, so basically, the gist of this is that um, it's many agricultural products in Europe are um, ridiculously cheaper than they are here in the States. Um, as you can see, like, from the U.S. shopping list, um, I mean, olive oil alone is double the price as it would be in Germany. Um, the veal cutlets were really expensive in the United States, um, as was the white asparagus, which um, I was kind of expecting because um, since um, Germans only buy the white asparagus when it's in season, uh, it's fairly cheap at that time, whereas, like, if they were to buy it out of season, if they can even find it, it would probably be, um, a good amount more expensive, um, but as you can see, like, the total for the meal, um, was seventy one forty nine um, without tax, and on the German shopping list, it was only thirty one fifty two without tax, so, um, it is shocking, um, how different the food prices really are. Um, and so my next slide will kind of explain why, um, the prices are so low and, uh, what is different in Germany, in the German food retail sector as opposed to the U.S. retail sector.